Hi everybody, Susie Fider here from Marketing with Ethics. And in this week's Marketing Munch, I'm going to show you how to add a form to your website to collect email signups using Active Campaign. Active Campaign is one of many email providers that are available to you. It is my preferred choice, however, you do have others like MailChimp, Infusionsoft, Optin, Monster, etc. So let's go over to Active Campaign. So here we are on the main dashboard of Active Campaign. And the first thing you need to do is to actually create a list because when you create a form, you choose a list to add the details to. So to do that, you simply go down to lists. I've got lots of lists here. I've just gone through a complete new setup, but let's do add a new list. Give your list a name. So let's say monthly newsletter, the website that it's for which in our case obviously is marketingwithethics.com and then you need to remind your contacts why they're on their list and while your email. So I usually put something very similar to the example you are receiving emails from Marketing with Ethics as you to be added to our monthly newsletter and then simply create the list. So that will now add it to there and then go over to forms. So here we are, we've got several forms here, but to create a new form, you go up to the top right hand corner, select new form. What's the form going to be? Let's call it monthly newsletter. Now we just have the standard subscription for active campaign. So as you can see, there are different ones, floating bar box and a modal, etc. that's available in the plus professional and enterprise plans. But quite frankly, you don't need them. The inline form is more than suitable. And the reason why you had to create a list is there's an action that you want them to do when people fill the form in and you've got the options of add a tag, email results and subscribe to list. And now you would select what list to set them up to. So let's scroll down and find the one we just created, which is monthly newsletter. So now if anybody fills in this form we're about to create, they will be added to that email contact list and click on create. And here we have the standard form template that Active Campaign creates, but you now have the opportunity to personalize this to however you want. So for example, if I click in here, a box will appear on the right hand side for me to actually update. So let's change that to get the latest news and tips. Once you click out of the boxes, you'll see you've got your fields, style and options available. So these are my fields. Now I've set up one specifically for GDPR for a tick box. So we want to make sure we add that in there and you go until you see the small line that shows you where it's going to be added. So there we go. We've got that in there. We don't actually want the full name. We only want the first name. So let's get rid of that. And yes, we are sure we want to get rid of the field. You can have your own fields or you've also got standard fields as well. So let's first of all add the first name in there. And I actually want to put a picture in here. Now I don't have those in my fields, so let's go into the standard and then you can simply add an image box. So let's add an image and you can upload images. I've got images here that I've already used, but you do then get the opportunity to upload anything that you want on there. So let's say, for example, this was the image I wanted to choose. You simply click on that and it will upload that image for you. And you can then simply go down to the bottom and resize it to what you want and then put it in the middle. So add a descriptive text to here. So again, once I click on it and you'll see here, you've got these P's. Now that stands for paragraph. That's a small amount of HTML code, which you can use to play around with. So you don't want to affect those. You just highlight that part, and put keep up to date with the latest techniques to help you succeed online. In fact, let's like that latest marketing techniques to help you succeed online. And as you can see, that's updated it here. 
Now, I personally don't like having the marketing by active campaign. So to get rid of that, you simply click on style, scroll down to the bottom and get rid of the AC branding. The other thing I like to do is I prefer my buttons to be yellow, like an orangey yellow. So again, you can simply go and you can change the background color. You can change the font color. You can give it a border. So let's say we want to have a border which is just like a small square, but you then could say you want it rounded just to make it a little bit prettier. So if we change the rounding on that, you'll see this cornering here is now rounded. Again, the button itself, I actually want the text to be black. And the reason for that is because I want the background color to be a yellowy orange. I also want to change the wording to it as well. So if I click on submit, again, up here, we get the option to change, highlight it, and then just put sign me up. Now, obviously this is just a, an example. And then you click on integrate. Now this is where it can be slightly technical. However, I will take you through this. All you need here is the embed code and it's the simple embed here. So all I do is just highlight, copy and paste it. Now, if I go over to our actual website, so let me get rid of that. As you can see, here's an example of one I've got here, which goes into much more detail. But let's just say I just wanted to add this very simple newsletter box on here. So you're going into the dashboard of your WordPress. Now I'm gonna pretend I want to add it onto this page here. I personally use a plugin called Site Origin, which helps you with the layout, etc. And when you've got that, I can simply click in this area here, say that I want to add a widget, add site origin editor, go in and click on edit. Now, very important part here is this will automatically put you into the visual. So this is how it will look. Because this is an embed code, we want to go into the text part. So click on text, and then you simply right click and paste. Click on done. Now, because this is already an active page, I will now click on update. And then let me show you the page itself. So this will now have, so here's the original one we had here, and here's the one I've just added in here. So if we were to then fill this in, this will automatically update with the first name and the email address onto your list, which is called monthly newsletter. So have a think, what is it that you would like people to sign up for? Is this a quick and easy way for you to actually get a free download out to them? In next week's Marketing Munch video, I will actually show you how to create a campaign which sends automatic emails out when someone signs up. If you have found the information useful, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do like to share tips and hints where you can succeed online. This is Susie Fido from Marketing with Ethics signing out for this week and thank you for watching.